So we've conquered the land speed record. We've inadvertently conquered the air speed record. We've not done the sea speed record yet. Maybe I should get onto that one. But today we are finding out how fast we can go indoors. And when I say indoors, I don't mean like inside an airplane hangar or something like that. I mean in a room in a building inside of GTA 5. And so that is why I am right here. This is actually possum bees. There's also around the other side a hairdressers right next to each other. I want to see how fast we can get inside of these buildings. But I have a feeling that first of all, we might have to get a smaller car. I don't think this is going to be fitting in anytime soon. Lord have mercy. And we're in. Do you know what? I don't even think we're going to be able to move. Three miles an hour is how we've managed so far. Four miles an hour. <laughs> this is Right, let's try and get this into this corner here and see if we can get a bit of speed picked up. So I guess this is the only straight bit that we have where we can get 23 bullshit? miles an hour. And we're stuck. Do you know what? Let's try something a bit smaller. <laughs> Okay, here we are with the Izzy Classic that actually drives through the doors. We can actually maneuver around this building. Right, let's see how fast we can go with this. 25 miles an hour. Not bad. Do you know what? I think if we're going to get any sort of real speed, I think we need to scale down even further. And I'm not talking golf carts. I'm not talking bikes. I'm talking RC cars. See, now with this... We have a lot more room to play around with. That's if I can actually get inside the building. Okay, so this bonnet might pose as some sort of issue here. Maybe we'll try from this angle because there's actually quite a bit down here that we can drive down. Okay, let's see how fast we can go inside this clothing shop. Okay, that's actually terrible. Okay, I think the handling of this might be the issue here. Well, we've managed 24 miles an hour and I wasn't even trying just then. We sort of got stuck, moved for a bit. Hit 24 miles an hour. I think this is a good idea, but let's try the hairdressers around the corner. We might have some more luck around there. Okay, instantly we have less obstacles. I think we might be on for a winner here. Although we do have one giant bio robot right here that's in the way that I might impede our score. But let's see, because we could actually aim for the door. Oof, I think we hit like 32 miles an hour before we hit the door. That's actually a perfect run right there. Okay, I think it's time that we actually modify this. I'm going to go to menus, customs, and hit auto upgrade. That's going to give us all of the speed upgrades that we want. And, I mean, visually, it's given us some interesting style here. But we'll ignore that. We just want the speed. So here we go. 34 miles an hour, I think that was, just as we hit that window. Okay, so I'm going to set this video into three parts. We're going to have small interiors, medium interiors, and potentially large interiors, if we could find any. I think this is probably the winner of the small interiors. Let's find some different ones. Okay, here we are in the bank. I don't know how many of these doors... Oh, I've just fallen off the... Okay. <laughs> okay, this has actually got some massive corridors here. Where we can hit 30... Oof! What the... <laughs> okay, let's give this another go. I want to try and actually hit the wall. It's just very close because I will be falling out that door if I reverse anymore. Okay. We can hit 38 miles an hour before we fly outside of the building. Let's try a different one. Okay, so quickly before we run the next test, I just want to let you guys know I have new t-shirts on the store. Rally inspired figure eight t-shirts. I'll put a link in the description below. Go check it out. So how about the FIB building? Because there's actually a big, massive, long thing here. We should be able to fit through all of those and hit that door right there. Where we can get, oh, 50 miles an hour. I think that's actually the top speed that we can hit with this vehicle. Just to test, 57, 58, 58 miles an hour is the top speed. So we didn't quite get there. So I think it's time we start playing around with the horsepower multiplier. I'm going to stick that to 10,000. I don't know what that's going to... Oof! Okay, now that is fast. We might be hindered with the top speed. Actually, no, apparently not. We're doing almost 200 miles an hour. <laughs> okay, I think we've definitely got enough potential speed. Let's go back and find another interior. Okay, the Life Invader building, which you guys might remember from a video I did like two years ago, or maybe even longer now where I drove the Pill P50 around here. There's actually some fair amount of space around here for driving. Okay, so in the office, we do actually have, if we can get this handling right and get around those desks, 
we should have a nice clean shot for a top speed run. Let's see. Oof. Okay. No, I don't think we are actually going to do this. This handling is ridiculous. Okay, so I'm going to change the multipliers on the traction to 100 just in the vain hope that I can try and make this easier to steer because we are so fast right now, I can barely handle it. Okay, that's looking straight. Oof! We got 52, I think we hit. I think this is way too much of a bend. We've got to find somewhere that doesn't rely on corners. Okay, so I think these bank interiors might be our best shot because they have nice long corridors. So let's give this one a shot. There we go. That was like, no. Oh, the vault door actually opens. That is a very insecure vault door. It looks really light. Looks like it's made out of wood or something. But, oof, that was like 93 miles an hour. We can definitely get some speed with this one if you get it lined up. Do you know what? I'm going to say that this is our best medium-sized interior. So most online interiors don't really work properly in single player because I am in single player. If I was to get something like a, a vehicle warehouse built, it doesn't really build it. I'm just gonna fall through the sky and appear somewhere random in the map. Not really what we want. But we do have a few car parks and garages. So I think this might be our largest that we can manage. This is a big, large 10 car garage where we can hit, oof, that definitely hit 100. Just for a second, that definitely hit 100. Oof, okay. Do you know what? I'm actually curious to see how fast you can drive a car in here. Okay, this probably isn't the best accelerating vehicle. I'm not quite sure what is these days, but I'm curious just to see how fast we can go with the uh, adder. 43 miles an hour, that was dreadful. <laughs> Definitely terrible. You know what? I think we'll stick with the RC Bandito. So actually at this point, I think it's time that we start playing around with multipliers. Because until now, we've basically just been going into customs and we've been changing the HP multiplier. So I can put this up to 99999. I'll stick this up to 99999. But I think this is going to be way too out of control for us to use. And also, for some reason, it gets rid of the wheels. But we can definitely hit speeds of slower than before. Yeah, that's why these tests don't always work out. But that's why I want to try just changing the vehicle multiplier instead. And we'll actually keep this stock. But I can tell you already that this goes really fast. I'm just breathing on the accelerator and it is going ridiculously fast so let's see how fast we can go Oof, oh that was like no. 150 miles an hour instantly <laughs> okay that's ridiculous i want to see then how fast we can actually go with the multiplier with an actual full-size car so i'm not quite sure which one to use so i'm going to use the re7b and all i know is that i reverse really slowly but if i hit forward I go flying. I don't think this is going to break 100 miles an hour, though. We don't have much room. Oh, wow. Okay, that was like 140? Yeah, that was 150 right there. Oh, wow. That's almost on par with the RC Bandito. That's insane. Right, do you know what? I think we're ready. Let's start off with our top speed runs, starting with the smallest interior. Right, so here we are back in the hairdressers. This is probably the best small interior just because it has that woof, that nice. Okay, this is going to be really difficult because moving forward just a bit almost flies us to the other end of the room instantly. But we do have this nice straight bit. Providing it doesn't skid out of control, let's go. Oof! <laughs> that was about 150 miles an hour. In fact, what is the top speed? I just want to see what this is like on the street. Okay, we could definitely break like 300 miles an hour without even going anywhere. This thing is ridiculously fast. Okay, here we go with our second and final test. That was about 140 miles an hour. I think the other one hit 150. That's pretty solid. For a tiny interior, we can hit 150-ish miles an hour with an RC Bandito. Let's move on then to the medium size interior. Let's go with the bank. Okay, so here we are set up on the back wall of the bank. Aiming for the vault doors. Can we beat 150? This is more room. We should be able to. Let's see. That was like 160. I tell you what, I can't even like announce or just talk about what happens during the run because it is so quick. 
Let's give another run for that one. Let's see. Oof. Do you know what? That's almost the same speed as what we managed inside the hairdressers. That's insane, really. Okay, I'm actually going to up the HP multiplier just because I'm curious to see if that's going to stack at all with the multiplier. Right, let's see if we could do anything on that 150, 160 mark. Damn. Apparently not. In fact, that was actually slower. Right, and then that just leaves us with the garage. So let's reverse it up to this bit of glass. And I reckon 150 again. 160. I reckon that was actually 170 for like a second. What is this it's really shit? hard to say. That is mad though. In fact, if we actually do any sort of turning, it definitely oh, breaks the crap. speed. And we're losing power already. I think we're going to have to fix that. Repair vehicle. Otherwise, we're going to have a loss of speed. Ah, That's like 150, I think. That's amazing. It doesn't seem to matter for some reason what size interior we're in. We always hit around that speed, whether it's the small, medium, or large. Right, I'm actually just curious to see how fast we can get the Izzy Classic in here. Just want to see, just for a final test. Right, here we are. Izzy Classic. Three, two, one. Oh, one. No. I think that was like 140 or 150, I think. Okay, this is... <laughs> That's damaging it. Quite a lot, I will say. I want to have another smash at that. I want to see how smashed we can get this thing now at this point. Shit. That was like 140, and now we're on fire. Oh, okay, bullshit. we've completely ruined that front end. What is this shit? I'm just going to keep what? holding this down and see what happens. Oh, yeah. Well, that's one way to smash up an easy classic. But there we go. Yeah. We have conquered the land speed record indoors. I think we got around 160, 170. I'll put the speed on the screen as quick as I could have seen it. I'll check the video afterwards. But there we go. That's it. Another speed test done. If you've got all the way to the end of this video, I normally find a word. Power metal. There we go. I want you to say power metal in the comment section below if you managed to watch this entire video. But that is going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And all the videos recently as well. Loads of you guys have been watching it. Giving me some positive feedback and all that sort of stuff. I just want to say thank you to all of the new subscribers. And all the past subscribers. You're all amazing. Also I do have some t-shirts. Right now they are on limited run. They're going to be sold until around the 5th of July. Which means you've got around 3 weeks to buy. They are rally inspired figure 8 t-shirts. Uh, you guys on Twitter have been saying some really positive stuff. Hopefully you guys like it. I'll put a link in the description below where you can go and check those out. But that is it. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Oh.